top 10 radar. Yeah, we on your radar. Hello, welcome to the Awkward Cast. <laughs> so I set up this podcast to introduce you to some of our valued team members. Um, today we've got Kirsty. Um, Kirsty has been brought in as head of happiness. She comes with a wealth of experience, and I want her to tell a little bit about herself. So, Kirsty, what does it um, head of happiness mean to you? So, I've come from um, more of a corporate background um, in HR, and actually, when you approached me and said I want your title to be head of happiness, it actually um, I felt it in my heart. It's it's the most important part of HR for me is 100%. that the team are happy. Um, that they want to work for your company, yeah. but they're also fulfilled in themselves. Um, so to be able to be in a role specifically created for that kind of purpose yeah. has meant a lot to me and is the area of HR that I thrive in. And life, really, my my purpose is to, to help others. Yeah, 100%. I completely feel that. So I've known Kirsty for a little while. So we've built up a relationship a long time ago and been friends for a long time. So I knew she'd be perfect for this role. Um, so head of happiness for me is also... Obviously, there's all the general about HR, which needs to be done. Do you know what I mean? That's important. Do you know what I mean? As someone got a driving license, that's important. But <laughs> it's, for me, it's really bringing you into sort of, um, yeah, dive down into it. Really, is everybody happy at work? Is everyone happy at home? Can we assist? Any problems? Can we put them on the table? Can we all work for them together? Um, mental health is so, so important to me. So important to so many team and so many people are struggling with it. And I feel that sort of if we can chip away out of that and certainly with the team and extended team of families, then um, we're in a position to be able to do that. And that pretty, that's pretty exciting. Very. And as you know, as Stuart said, we've known each other a very, very long time, probably since I was about 12. Um, and so Stuart's been through a lot of my life with me as I have yours. And mental health is a huge part of my life and a huge part of why I'm so invested in the well-being of others and I think this will work really well I'm really excited to to be here and be part of that you're right there are the compliance side of things which yeah um, I have to tie you down for uh, occasionally just so that we're doing things right yeah but actually your take on leadership is something that excites me as well because you don't want to be the same you want to stand out and be different and that's what what we're going to be about hopefully so we've got loads of fun stuff coming up um so we have um, we've been really looking at sort of, um, well, we've been working with a lot of charities anyway, but we're also looking to sort of um, potentially um, do our own, um, and that will be surrounded mental health. Um, we've got loads and loads of ideas. Um, again, it's something that's so important. There is so many people um, out there that need help, and I hear on a daily basis, who um, haven't got the funding, um, can't get seen for six months, and I know personally six months is no good. Um, when you need that, you need it now. So I really want to sort of use our platform, if you like, to sort of build on that and actually create something that's pretty special. Um, and yeah, and reach far and wide, hopefully. And yeah. Kirstie's going to be a big part of that. Yeah. And I, like I said, that hits my heart completely. Um, and it's twofold for me. I think being here, like you say, with, with our team, um, happiness is, is personal to the individual. So we've we've got kind of two roles where I want us and you want us to be supporting the mental health and well-being personally of our team but also to be a facilitator of happiness at Best Boat because we like you say have the platform to provide happiness to our team but also now with your idea of the charity and everything to spread that much much further beyond just us. So Kirsty what is um what is happiness to you inside and outside of work? Happiness to me it a, that's a huge question and I think um, again it's personal to everyone to me happiness I'm continuously working on it I think everyone is yeah. is um, oh god yeah not necessarily having everything but being grateful and content for what I do have and I think that's where we're all continuously working on that um, things that make me happy is having a purpose and yeah. I know um, my purpose is helping others helping others help makes me happy um, so actually bringing that into the workplace is yeah. hopefully I can spread that um yeah the workplace again have having feeling valued in the workplace is huge knowing you've got a place knowing you're part of something bigger than you and where you're creating you're part of that success um knowing you can be yourself 
I think yeah. that's the main thing. And here, you've nailed that already. <laughs> um, everyone's personality shines through. Everyone respects each other's personality, yeah. and that's huge. Um, and coming in with a smile, saying good morning, even if Kieran doesn't want to say hello. <laughs> and I say, it's okay, Kieran, I'll check in on you later. <laughs> uh, bringing granola, you know, food is always a good way of bringing happiness. Um, there's lots of ways of spreading yeah. happiness. We just have to, you know... Wear earrings really, really down. funky earrings. Is that sort of this part worked, of the game plan? Please, even made a Scott smile this morning. He couldn't resist. Uh, yeah, he couldn't resist. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know if it was just for this podcast. Yeah. No, they're daily. Okay. I've got yeah. a basket full. No, I, I think they're really cool. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you probably get one in actually. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Right, and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for coming on, Kirsty. I really appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to the future. So that's our first edition and our first go at awkward podcast. I hope you agree. It was f***ing awkward. Very awkward. <laughs>